what is will? I mean, it's so philosophical, I don't have an answer for that. But as we just talked, the real sound may not sound real within the universe of the film. We need to set the standard of the unity of the size and weight, like tone, of the physics of that particular universe. Sometimes I ask for the reference movie if it's for the action punch sound. Punch sound is very different between different films. I like the punch sound on the David Fincher's Fight Club because it's very scary, realistic in the sense. But also I enjoy Hong Kong Kung Fu film over the top punch and draw the inference from there, the Quentin Tarantino atomic bomb size punch. So is there any other kind of sound effects? Lack of the better word, I came up with this term, uh, psychological sound effects. Uh, here is a scene from Ericus Be With Me. Okay, and another scene from the same film, Be With Me. This be with me, I created sound specially. It's a non-diegetic sound. The, the character in a special moment in the life turning point. So I wanted the sound to come from heaven or higher up, like an angel calling or Kuan Yin blessing. So it's high above to you or them. And High frequency sound tend to have this impression of it's coming from above your listening position. So I use this synthesizer and use many effects to achieve this sound. As I said, if you ask me if it's diegetic or non-diegetic, mm, I'm not really sure. Because the uncle reacted to the sound as he sees his ghost wife who's saying goodbye to him. But for the girl, Izan showed no reaction, so she may have heard it, but she didn't bother, or she didn't hear it. I have no idea. But I made this sound for Izan much softer, but longer. Not only to fit the shot itself, but it's the second time it's been played back, so it's already been registered to the audience, hopefully. So I made it softer, but prolong it longer so it doesn't disappear. By the way, Be With Me is one of my best favorite film from Eric, one of only. And also it was my first collaboration with him for the feature film. So come to think of it, long time ago when I did it, I was quite challenging myself to do such a, you know, like abstract sound for the first collaboration, but he was open enough to accept those ideas. Yes, he was open enough to employ that sound effects to his company logo, which is very honored thing. After Be With Me, the Way Films logo has this sound. He even asked me to use the same sound for similar scene of like getting inspired by somewhere up 
in in the room and he told me to particularly use this sound for one particular scene it's also acted as some kind of easter egg which not many people can catch i guess let me continue with another eric's film tatsumi since this is an animation film i had a lot of fun working on it and also in animation by nature there are no production sound at all so all sounds you hear are added on later by me it's tiring and long process no doubt but it's very very fun Okay, it's a scary scene. I didn't warn you beforehand, sorry about that. For this scene behind the protagonist's scream, which is played by Tetsuya Besho, I layered pig screaming sound. I think it's one of the freakiest sound and the most scary sound that we can hear. And also for the alarm bells because it's set in the 50s, I think. Yeah. So I use only the physical bell sounding first uh, but it wasn't strong enough so i know it didn't exist back by then in 50s but i added very modern kind of digital alarm sound underneath it's more like a subconscious thing and i also thought the bell made by brass or something wouldn't be very relatable to the younger generations so i added that layer in also um, there is a ringing in the ear kind of very high pitch noise is layered to build more tension to it Okay, it's another very intense scene, which is my best favorite story from the omnibus in Tatsumi. So I added army marching footsteps and the harsh metal grinding noise to build the tension too. Mm-hmm. 